Hey, everyone. My name is Anjali, and I'm a product manager here at Datadog. As AI workloads move from R&D to production, GPUs become more and more critical. We've heard from you. 30% of model training failures are because of GPUs. And these clusters are often running idle. Yet, even as GPU sales skyrocket, SREs and ML engineers are left without end-to-end -end visibility in how GPUs impact their AI workloads. That's why I'm excited to introduce Datadog's GPU monitoring. Let's see it in action. GPU monitoring provides full visibility into your GPU fleet across all major cloud providers, on-prem setups, and GPU as a service platforms. You can view your fleet at the cluster level, then drill down to hosts, GPU devices, and even MIG slices. And it doesn't stop there. Datadog GPU monitoring solves for various issues. Let's start with contention. Here, my ML team says that their Ray services are failing recently. In GPU monitoring, within the resource contention section, I see this spike in unmet requests, specifically in my cluster named Yanmega. I filter down to this cluster. Immediately, I see that there are no A100 GPU devices available. Not only are we maxing out our current capacity, Datadog has forecasted that demand will continue to max out capacity in the next four hours. Datadog GPU monitoring just helped me identify the type and number of GPUs to solve this contention issue with confidence. GPU monitoring also helps me solve congestion between my GPU nodes. Let's say my ML team says that their training times are taking 12 hours longer than usual. With Datadog, I can inspect RDMA and EFA network congestion between GPU nodes and NVLink congestion between GPU devices. This issue sounds like a data starvation issue. Let's investigate our first node. Clicking in, I see that switch one, port one, experienced a failure that caused a throughput drop in data transfer across my GPUs impacting overall model training times. I can reroute RDMA traffic through a working port to improve my ML team's workload speed and resolve this congestion issue. Lastly, GPUs are a precious commodity, and idle capacity can be the biggest drain on our budget. GPU monitoring helps you stay on top of your total GPU spend. Let's see this in action. Here, I see that within GPU monitoring, we've highlighted and identified the key cost optimization opportunities. Looks like our cluster named Nidorino is our most expensive cluster with over $157,000 in total spent. Clicking into this cluster, Datadog GPU monitoring shows me my total devices allocated active, and effectively used GPUs. I see that only 40% of my GPU devices are using their cores effectively, leading to over $28,000 in inefficient spend. I can also see this cost in the context of my entire cluster within CCM. Now, GPU monitoring breaks down GPU consumption by pods, processes, and jobs, so I can identify non-critical and inefficient workloads. I see here that there's a pod hogging eight GPUs with less than 50% core utilization. I'll ask my ML team to consolidate this pod onto a fewer number of GPUs so that we can reduce our total spend. With GPU monitoring, I've connected wasted cost in my cluster to inefficient workloads so I can optimize my cluster's GPU usage. To recap, Datadog's GPU monitoring helps us solve for resource contention, data transfer congestion, and wasted cost across our GPU fleets. I'm so excited for you to try this new product. You can sign up at the link for the preview.